Hi there, it's Claire here. Thanks for tuning in to today's video. I'm really excited to be sharing this video with you. Now, a few months ago, I did a video blog post on EFT. EFT stands for Emotional Freedom Technique, or it's also known quite casually as tapping. Now, I would highly recommend that you watch that first video, just linked below into this blog post, to get an idea as to what I'm actually talking about when I keep saying EFT. You can also read up a little bit more information on EFT in the blog post that's attached to that video. So in that first blog post, I took you through an EFT session for stress and anxiety. But today I wanted to share with you an EFT session for helping you fall asleep at night. Now as you might be able to tell, I've got a little bit of a blocked nose. I got caught in the rain a few days ago and I feel perfectly fine except for the fact that my nose is really blocked. So what that's meant is for some reason at night time when I go to bed, my nose seems to get even more blocked and I'm having a lot of trouble breathing. And because I'm having a lot of trouble breathing, I'm then having a lot of trouble falling asleep. So I tend to use EFT when I'm lying in bed asleep at night to help me, you know, let go of whatever's distracting me or work through the fact that I can't breathe. And I find that it works so quickly, it's not even funny. It's phenomenal how fast this technique can work for something that can often leave us tossing and turning for hours at night. So what I'm going to do is just guide you through an EFT session just quickly on uh, clearing anything that's in the way so that you can get to sleep, so that you can fall asleep. Because we all know that sleep is the most important thing for our health and our wellness. For me, at the very base level, when I'm tired, I just don't function properly. But it goes a lot deeper than that. When I'm tired and I haven't slept properly, I'm not creative, the juice isn't flowing through me, I'm not connected to myself, I'm irritable and I'm moody. And I just find that this heavy energy, almost, I guess some people would call it depression, but it's not. But just that heaviness starts to build and build when I haven't slept properly in a while. So I'm going to take you through this. And before I take you through it, I'm just going to quickly walk you through the tapping points. But like I said, when you watch that first video and read through that post, it will make a lot more sense. So essentially what we're doing is tapping on meridian endpoints around our face and our upper body to communicate to our body that this thing that's bothering us or this issue or the fact that we can't sleep or this blocked nose, whatever it is that you're talking about, we're asking our body to clear that. We're asking our body to detox that. So I'm going to take you through the tapping points first. And you can use any hand, left or right, it doesn't matter. And you can use any sign of the body, it doesn't matter. So choose whichever hand and whichever signs you prefer. And I'll just take you through the points to begin with. So we first begin by tapping at the crown of the head. Then we tap on the inside at the edge of the eyebrow. Then we tap on the outside at the outer edge of the eyebrow. Then you come underneath the eye, underneath the nose, just where that groove is. Then underneath the lip, also just where your chin meets your lip. Then we're coming to the collarbone area. Again, I like to tap with two hands for this for some reason, but you can do one hand on either side. We're then coming to the underarm point. So you're looking for about maybe 10 centimeters below, kind of where it's a little bit tender. And then just an extra point added here, which is just at the rib cage. For ladies, it's kind of where your bra strap sort of ends. Guys, pretend you have a bra strap. And then we'll just start again back to the crown of the head. Okay, so before we go further than that, there's one other thing that we need to do, which is to set up the statement. So the statement is a point here on the karate chop, and it's a statement that we state to our body about what's going on for us. It's kind of like bringing the issue right up to the surface, setting the stage for that problem, bringing it into the spotlight. Now I just want to preface here that sometimes I don't do this point, especially if I'm lying in bed and I'm clearly feeling anxious because I can't fall asleep. I'm already feeling it. The problem is already in my body. The issue is already very prevalent in my mind's eye. So sometimes the setup statement is irrelevant. So just to let you know that, you don't always have to do that, but it is a really powerful tool to use as well. Now there's one final thing to, to mention here, is that sometimes when you're dealing with a bigger problem, it's good to rate the problem out of 10. 10 being, you know, it's pretty bad, you're feeling it quite strongly, and one, not so bad. Now, when you're lying in bed and you can't fall asleep, which is what we're working on today, you probably don't need to rate it because you'll start to feel your body relax and you'll start to fall asleep. 
So what's really powerful about this tool for me when I fall asleep is that I find I get to a point where I'm no longer really tapping and I'm no longer really saying anything and I've just had this little moment of awareness that I've started to drift off and fall asleep and it's such a beautiful feeling. Okay, so we're going to start with a setup statement just to give you an idea of what that is. So come to the outside edge of your hand and start tapping. It's a light tap, doesn't need to be forceful. And just repeat after me. Even though I can't fall asleep right now, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I'm really struggling to fall asleep because of, insert here, whatever it is that's stressing you out or that's getting in the way, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And even though I really wish I could fall asleep and I've got a big day tomorrow, but I just can't seem to fall asleep, I deeply and completely accept myself. Okay, so before we go on here, just know that if you get to a point where you feel uncomfortable to say that you love and accept yourself, just say that you'll be okay. And just say that I'm ready to let it go. And over time, you might start to feel comfortable to say, I like myself. I accept myself and then maybe I love myself. That's ultimately what we're looking for here. Okay, so tapping on the crown of the head. I can't fall asleep. I'm struggling so much to fall asleep right now. Inside of the eyebrow. I can't fall asleep and it's stressing me out. It's late at night and I still can't fall asleep. I wish I could fall asleep. So outside of the eye and then under the eye under the nose. It's stressing me out. I'm feeling really anxious because no matter what I do, I can't fall asleep. And I'm thinking about this huge day that I have the next day and I can't be tired. And I just wish I could fall asleep. And I really, really want to fall asleep. I'm so exhausted. And I'm so exhausted, but I don't know what to do. I can't fall asleep. So keep tapping and keep talking about the problem. That's the best way forward. So what I then start to do is if it's not really shifting, I look a little deeper. So for me, obviously having a blocked nose, that was a good thing to talk about. So I started to tap. I can't fall asleep because I can't breathe out of my nose and it's really uncomfortable. And my nose is all blocked up and I can't breathe and I can't fall asleep. And I have this really annoying little cold that doesn't make me feel sick, but for some reason it's just here and it's just lingering. And I feel fine all day until I need to go to sleep and then my nose is really blocked. And my nose is blocked and it's stressing me out and I can't fall asleep. And I wish I could fall asleep, I really need to fall asleep, but I can't. And under the arm, I need to fall asleep, I've got a big day tomorrow. I'm so exhausted, I just need to sleep. And I just wish that I could sleep. Okay, so just put your hands down for a moment, take a deep breath in. So what I like to highlight here is that you'll feel different things. I tend to yawn at key moments in the EFT session, usually when I'm starting to hit the nail on the head, when I'm starting to really talk about the thing that's key for me. Now the other thing I want to clarify here is that talking about the negative is actually part of the process. So I know that we're used to talking positively or we're used to thinking that that's the way forward. But EFT is slightly different because what we're doing by tapping on meridian points is we're bringing up the issue, moving it through the layers of ourselves up to the surface. And to do so, we've really got to bring the negative into that. So to clear out the negative. You might get to a point where you start to feel comfortable to tap on positive. You might feel that whatever you're talking about negatively no longer feels true. So that's perfectly fine. So as an example, you would start tapping and saying, I'm starting to feel really sleepy now. I can see that I am going to fall asleep. I'm a little bit more relaxed now. I'm ready to fall asleep. I know I'm going to have a really deep and juicy sleep. It's going to be a beautiful rest. I'm going to wake up refreshed tomorrow and I'm going to tackle my day head on. And I'm ready to fall asleep. I'm feeling so much calmer now. I'm feeling prepared to fall asleep. I'm ready to allow my body to rest as it needs. And I'm ready to fall asleep. So that's just an example of what you could do in terms of shifting from the negative to the positive. But don't worry, you're not actually tapping negative into you. By tapping and talking about negative, you're clearing it out. So I invite you to give that a shot at any time that you're 
feeling a little bit stressed or you're a little bit tired. Now you can do that system that I've just taught you there using all the points from the head through the chest and then back. Whereas if you feel that that's a little bit too much for you, sitting up in the middle of the night while you're trying to sleep and start tapping, what I would recommend you do is use the hand points, which I'll show you now. Now the hand points are really great when you're lying in bed because you don't have to disturb yourself and wake yourself up too much. And you can just think through the things that you need to clarify and the things you need to say. You don't need to actually say them out loud. So the hand points are these particular points. I'll show you just by bringing your hand towards you, palm facing in. So you're going to tap on the outside edge of your nail bed, so the edge that's facing towards you. Just a light tap on the thumb, the index finger, the middle finger, the fourth finger, and the pinky. So you can use two hands to do this action, tapping at least seven times at each point, and that's the same for the, the body version as well. Or what you can do is use one hand to tap. Take your index finger folded over your thumb, and start to tap lightly. Then with your thumb, tap the edge of your nail bed, index finger, middle finger, fourth finger, and fifth finger. So this is kind of my go-to when I'm finding I can't fall asleep. I'll just have my hand sort of in, in my lap or over my shoulder and I'll be tapping lightly, saying in my head, I can't fall asleep, I really need to fall asleep. And like I said, at some point, it doesn't take very long, I start to completely relax. And maybe I've stopped thinking sentences, but my hand's still lightly tapping. And then not long after that, I've completely stopped tapping and I've fallen asleep. Now, just to show you how powerfully this works, I actually used this last night and my nose was so blocked it wasn't funny. I did, I did tap, a tap that I couldn't sleep and a tap that I couldn't breathe. As soon as I finished tapping, I just kind of felt the urge to stop. I still couldn't breathe through my nose. But I'd probably say it was less than five minutes later that I had fallen asleep. And in my sleep, I had a conscious thought that I could completely breathe through my nose. And I breathed through my nose perfectly fine all night. So just to show you how powerful this is. So give this a shot. Let me know how you go. I would love to hear in the comments below. Share with me your experiences with this particular session or with any other session of EFT. And stay tuned. I'm going to do a few more uh, blog posts on EFT for you guys in the future. Thank you so much for connecting. See you later, guys. Bye.